The guy on the phone for a second date today says the girl that he met and the girl that he wants to call bonded mm. over an instrument. Probably the sexiest instrument known to man. Whoa. The banjo. Oh. That's right. Hey. He says that's how he struck up a conversation with the girl that he wants to call today. I guess they are big fans of the banjo. And when you said sexy, I was immediately thinking bagpipes. So really? thank you for clarifying yeah. for me. Those are probably the top two sexy uh-huh. instruments. But this time it involves banjos. So, Sean, how does one bond over a banjo? What happened? Uh, I was at a show with a band. They had a banjo player, and I was really digging the guy. And I, at one point I said out loud, oh, my God, this guy's so good. And there was a girl next to me. I wasn't there with her. I hadn't talked to her. But she heard me, and she just turned to me and said, oh, my God, yeah, I love this guy. Yeah, <laughs> And then that's how it wow. happened. And who doesn't yeah. think a good banjo player is impressive? It, I mean, it is always it impressive. It is always impressive, yeah. But <laughs> never like, man, this banjo's making me horny. Anybody else? <laughs> Over here, sir. It's making me feel it, too. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah, she got all hot and bothered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. So tell us more about the evening. What was her name? <laughs> Juliana. Juliana, all right. So we ended up talking a little bit. Um, Of course, you can't really talk too much during the show. And I was there with some friends. She was there with some friends of hers. But we both just kind of ditched them. Nice. All right. That's pretty good. That's a good sign. Ballsy on her part to just ditch her friends and go with random banjo lover. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, how often do you find a a fellow banjo lover? Yeah. (laughs) So afterwards, we ended up going to a bar nearby. Cool. And how was that? It was great. You know, we hung out, had a drink. We were just talking and and chatting and laughing a lot. And, in fact, we were both surprised when after, I don't know, a little while, 20 minutes or so, the bartender actually asked how long we had been dating. Oh, so your chemistry was that good that it seemed like you guys were a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we laughed and were like, well, uh, I guess if this counts as a date, we've been dating for about an hour now. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. Sweet. (laughs) Did she like that answer? Did she seem okay with it being called a date? She was cool with it. You know, it was kind of awkward for both of us. But since it wasn't either of us that caused the awkwardness, we both just kind of laughed it off. And Mm -hmm. yeah, Yeah. she seemed fine with it. And this this was your actual date, right? You didn't go out with her. No, we just met and kind of decided to hang out for a minute. Okay. okay. And how long how long was your guys' hangout that night? Well, we were there for maybe half an hour or so, and then I did something stupid. I spilled my drink on myself. Oh. You know, as we're laughing and, and talking and having a good time. Okay. It's okay. We all have spasms like that when yeah. we laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so was the date over then when you dumped your drink on yourself? No, because she mentioned that she lived close by there. And I said, you know, I really wanted to hang out with her more, but not like covered in this sticky alcohol. I said, look, I don't want to be forward. I'm not trying anything. But would you mind if I went back, to, if we went back to your place and I could kind of clean myself up a little bit? Oh, my God. Oh. How big of a drink were you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> <It's all picture. laughs> I mean, I've spilled a lot of drinks on myself and just been fine with it. Well, it was red wine. You know, you don't want to let it sit for too long. Okay. So was your idea to go back to her place and then take your shirt off? Yeah, exactly. And sit there and talk to her without a shirt on? Or maybe borrow one of her frocks? <laughs> I was thinking just like go and, you know, wash it off in the sink and then put it back on again and let it be damp. And okay. I'll be honest, I didn't really think it through that far, all right? all right? You were totally just using it as an excuse to go back to her place. That would have been nice. I wasn't, though. I really did want to sit there <laughs> in a wine-stained shirt. Did you guys go back to her place or was she like, nah, that's good. We'll go out a different time. No, she was fine with it. So oh. we did. We went back to her place, and you know, I cleaned myself up as, as best I could. And she said, hey, do you want another drink? So we ended up hanging out at her place and, and having a couple drinks. And then, oops, I spilled one on my pants now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> See, now I wish I had had that level of forethought and tried that, but I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Okay. So you guys just hung out and talked for a while? Yeah, and I'd had enough to drink by that point. I didn't really feel comfortable driving home, so I ended up crashing on her couch. Okay. And and, yeah, She was in her bed. I was in the couch. No funny business. Everything was cool, but we'd had a really good time. So what was it like in the morning? Did she wake you up? Well, I woke up before she did, and I didn't want to wake her up. I wanted to let her sleep, you know, as long as I could. So I just, I left, thinking that that was the considerate thing to do. Was there a note left behind or anything? Yeah, I left her uh, a little note, said, hey, didn't want to wake you, had a great time, hope we can hang out again. And I haven't heard back from her since then. Okay, so what do you think might have gone wrong? 
either she just wasn't having as good a time as I thought she was, or maybe she thought it was rude or something that I left without saying goodbye, even though I was trying to be, you know, as considerate as I could. So I don't know. Okay. Mm, okay. All right. Well, we'll figure it out for you. We'll play a song, come back, call her, and get your second date, okay? Cool. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hang on. Right in the middle of a second date, and if you're just tuning in, Sean, who's on the phone to do a second date today, just gave every dude listening a great idea on how to get back to a lady's house. Just spill drinks on yourself mm. nonstop. <laughs> because yeah. that's what he did on his date. He met a girl at a show. They bonded over the banjo player. And then they went to a bar after and were having some drinks. And he spilled his drink on himself. And then he was like, oh, man, now I need to take my shirt off and clean it. Can we go back to your place? <laughs> and she said yes. So apparently it's a Whoa. tactic that works. Sean, I still think you did that on purpose. I wish I had. And from now on, I will. You know, if this works anyway. <laughs> Do you think, I mean, like, if a guy said that to me, I would obviously think he wanted to get it on at my house and was using it as an excuse. Maybe she was disappointed that you didn't try anything. Really? I, you know, I don't know. Maybe I was, like, too tipsy to pick up on that by that point. I didn't think I was. Who knows? Sean actually spent the night at her house and then left and left her a note saying that he had a good time and then tried to get a hold of her after, but hasn't heard anything from her. I'm going to dial her phone number right now and see if we can get her on the phone and find out why. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Juliana, please? Yeah, this is she. Hey, Juliana, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Uh, who is this? <laughs> Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm sorry, what, what is this? It's a radio show. <laughs> is this a scam? Are you trying to sell me something? I'm, I'm going to hang up. No, I'm not trying to sell <laughs> you anything awesome at all. We were. <laughs> uh, one of our listeners actually emailed us about you. Okay. His name is Sean. And he's a guy that you sort of went on a date with recently. Oh. <laughs> that went down. Right. Whoa. So you remember hanging out with Sean? Yeah, I remember him. It doesn't sound like you fondly remember him. You could say that. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> he has great memories of you. Really? Yeah, that's why he emailed us. Sean wants to know why you're not calling him back. I think he's a sketchball. Is that a good enough reason? What? Really? No. I mean, we talked to him. I thought he was like dorky at worst, <laughs> but a nice guy. So he called you? What did he say? Well, I don't want to tell you because you sound mad. <laughs> it wasn't anything no, no, bad. I, I want to know. I want to know. What did he say? <laughs> well, he said that he met you at some show and you guys were bonding over the great banjo player that they had. And then you went to, yeah? go, you, then you went to a bar after. Whoa. And he spilled a drink on himself and asked if he could go back to your place to kind of clean his shirt up or something. Which we all said had to be an excuse to just get over to your place, but he swore up and down it wasn't. So I guess he didn't mention to you that he's a thief. What? Whoa! A thief. No. no. Yeah, he's a kleptomaniac. He didn't what drop you... that. Oh. Yeah, he didn't tell us that he likes to steal things. Whoa. Yeah, so uh, the next morning, I was in my room. He was on the couch. I heard some rustling in the hallway and it was like, I don't know, like 5 a.m. or something. And then I heard a door close. So I called out. I was like, Sean, Sean, hello. No answer. So I got up, walked out into the hallway. I looked around. I checked the couch. He wasn't there. He was gone. But I saw that the closet door in my hallway was open where I keep my coats and stuff. Okay. And he had put his coat there. Uh-huh. So I went over to close it, and his coat was gone. That makes sense, I guess, if he was gone. But then all of my hangers were gone, too. What? what? All of your... Yeah, all of my empty hangers that were just hanging in my closet were gone. What? And they Wait. were there. They were there before he came. So, yeah, he's a thief. Wait, oh. you're accusing him of stealing coat hangers from your house? I'm not assuming that that happened. I know that happened. He did it. You s sound very angry about these hangers being taken. Would you be angry if you invited someone back to your house after a really nice date and then found out that they stole things from you? Yeah. Yeah, I think you'd be. I, mean, yeah, but I, I, I guess, but I, I don't know why hangers just doesn't hit me that hard. Me neither. <laughs> it's so weird. They're my things. I only just met. We hung out for like a couple hours. And I invited him back to my place. Like, why would you take my hangers? Yeah, it's a really valid question. It makes no sense. It's weird and sketchy and dumb. And you, <laughs> yeah, it is. You didn't notice anything else missing from your house. It was just the hangers. You keep saying my hangers like it's like it's not a big deal. But, but he just took them. He didn't leave a note. He didn't say anything about it. He just took my hangers. That is weird, man. Yeah, it I guess it is weird. weird. I don't know why you would take hangers. Don't you want to know why take he would? Take hangers? 
<laughs> don't you know why he would want to steal your hangers? It's such a strange... No, I don't care why he did it. I don't care how he tries to excuse himself. He's lucky I didn't call the police. Oh, that would be a call. Yeah, I'd love to see him get arrested for that. Yeah. That's well, possible, though, right? I, I probably, yeah, you probably could get him arrested. I'm kind of wondering why he would steal your hangers. So I think we should ask him, Juliana, because he's on the phone listening right now and wants to talk to you. What? This is a setup? Well, I don't like that word. It's a dirty way to describe it, but yeah, kind of. Is. Sean? Hey, Juliana. Wow. I didn't know you were on the phone, but since you are, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> That's a great question. Okay, this is a big misunderstanding. Uh-oh. Oh, Wait. yeah? What's the misunderstanding? You took my hangers and oh, I, I... What? What's the misunderstanding? Uh, okay, yeah, I took some hangers. I'm sorry. Honestly... <laughs> okay, for one so thing... you did take them. How was... Oh, my God. How was there a misunderstanding there? That is so weird. All right, Juliana, just calm down. Hear me out, okay? There's, there's actually a really good reason why I took the hangers. There is no good reason why you would take my hangers. Yeah, I'm interested in hearing the reason, too. I think everybody is. And how many hangers are we talking about right now? Like, three or 12? It was probably around 15 or so, but, what? okay. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of hangers. Oh, dude. Here's the thing. I just moved into a new apartment. My hangers are all in a box somewhere. I don't know where. Everything I own is in boxes, except for all my clothes that are in a pile on my kitchen table. So I was thinking, all right, I was getting my coat out of the closet, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, here's all these hangers. If I just grab a handful and take them with me, it'll make my life so much easier for the next few days. And then when I see her again, I'll bring them back because I'll have my life together a little bit more by that point. And I'll say, hey, you probably didn't even notice these were gone, but... I borrowed some of your hangers. Oh, I, I hope that's cool. These. I was thinking you'd like think it was charming and funny. Or something. What? <laughs> that is so weird. You thought that stealing my hangers would make me actually want to see you again, I, I, or, or surprising me with the fact that you stole my things would be exciting and charming? That makes no sense. Juliana, I didn't steal anything. Okay, I just borrowed something. I was with every intention of giving it back. I'll bring them back today if you want, and it's 15 plastic coat hangers that I didn't think to be oh, no. were gone. Borrowing is when you ask someone and ask someone usually that you know or you can't just meet someone and then take their things and think it's okay and that you'll bring it back. What if I didn't see you again? Well, we'd had such a good time, I thought you were probably going to want to hang out again. And, you know, it's, it's really hangers. annoying, too, that you would just assume that. And so take my things and that's your reasoning. That is so stupid. Well, uh, uh, okay, yeah, it, it was kind of inconsiderate. I probably should have yeah. said something about that on the note I left you. So I'm, I'm sorry. You know, what do you want me to do? Honestly, at this point, I, I don't even care. Just keep the hangers. Whatever. Juliana, oh, I mean, <laughs> do you think your anger's maybe a little bit out of control on this one? No. No, no, you don't go on a first date with someone. We just met that night. You don't know. Is that going to win someone over by taking their things? He just like, says, What does that mean for future things? Is every time he comes over, if we hang out again, he's going to take something else? I don't, yeah, that's true. Like, all, all of a sudden, your silverware is missing. Yeah, just a couple forks, forks, though. Yes. I just, forks? I, I moved. <laughs> Yeah, like, not gonna lie, but, like, that's indicative of, like, kleptomaniac tendencies. Like, what the hell? I don't okay, want to be around someone like okay. that. I think we're getting carried away Juliana, here. Juliana, you think you're maybe blowing this a little bit out of proportion for 15 plastic coat hangers? I mean, I... No, I I'm I not blowing anything out of proportion. They're my things. <laughs> okay. Hey, Juliana, you're clearly fired up about this, and I think you two should get together and talk outside of this phone call. Would you like to go on a second date with... So. No, would you like to go on a second date with Sean? We'll pay for it. I don't care how fast you say it. I'm not doing it. Well, if I say it this fast, we go on a second date with him. What if it's that fast? Oh, stop. Come on. Give him a chance. He's, like, dumb with social graces, maybe. But he doesn't sound like a bad person. Well, dumb with social graces is not that attractive. I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> Look, whether you want to hang out again or not, that's fine. But I'm going to tell you what. I'll come back to your place tonight. I'll bring back your hangers. Oh. And I'll bring you a new set of new hangers. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Did you hear that, though? He said he'd bring a brand new set. Oh. That's Juliana. an upgrade. You're right, Jubal. I swear to God, if you come over tonight with those hangers, I'm going to shove them inside you. Oh, okay. That was that, aggressive. You Don't never know. Go. That could be even more incentive for him to come over. <laughs>